Begin laying on your back on a flat surface. It could be a bed, a couch, or a yoga mat on the floor. You can place a pillow underneath your head if you would like to. Just make sure if you do that, that the pillow isn't lifting your head up like this. It's just providing slight elevation for comfort and you certainly don't need to have a pillow either. Gently tuck your chin so that your gaze lines up over the tops of your knees. Separate your feet and knees hip width apart with your feet flat on that surface and knees bent. From here, we'll go into a glute bridge. So I'll walk you through the form first and then we'll talk about the breath with it. The glute bridge is essentially where we're driving our feet down into the surface that we're on as we scoop our hips up off the floor, squeezing through our glutes and our hamstrings. A couple of things to note with this. We want to lift our hips up as high as possible, but with our spine in a neutral position so that we're not arching our back and we're not allowing our rib cage to flare. So as you scoop your hips up, you'll keep your ribs pressed down gently and your lower back in its neutral position. That natural curvature in your lower back can be there, but we're not going into an excessive arch. We'll squeeze a little bit extra at the top, keeping your knees pressed out in line with the direction of your toes, not caved in. So squeezing here and then slowly lower down with control. And that's one repetition. Now with the breathing, we'll begin with an inhale in this starting position. And now exhale, scoop your hips up, driving your feet down and inhale, lower down. And repeat for the allotted repetitions in the app. Here's a side view of this exercise. I'm gazing over the top of my knee, pressing my feet down at the top. My lower back is in a neutral position, 